Hello and welcome back to the Royal Legion SMP series where in this episode I have done a lot of stuff without you knowing and um, I'm gonna introduce you to them. So here we go. First off I have cleared out a very large area over here to the side and the main reason for this is for me to put in a brewing machine. I believe I said it in the last episode that I wanted one. So that is basically what is going to be sitting right here. There aren't going to be any walls. It's basically just going to, it's actually going to start here. There's going to be a wall down like that with a couple of, or well, not a couple, with a bunch of buttons. And um, click, 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 bing, bang, boom. And then it will brew the potion without me having to do anything other than just stand and watch at it. So that is pretty cool right there. And I thought not put it to not put any walls on it because then I can just run right in and do stuff. And then we have the storage room over here, which I have done a lot of stuff off camera on as well. Now, right now it doesn't look too great. As you can see, the background there is still stone and some places dirt and weird stuff. But the reason for this is I changed the layout of the chests, as you can see. And the reason for this is that I want a item sorter, which I will be making in the hopefully near future, which is why I dug out that area over there, um, I will need actually much more space than that to make what I want to make. <laughs> but um, what I want to make is basically going to cost a lot of iron, iron that I do not currently have. So I'm going to need more of that. So that is going to be more mining or some other stuff coming in the near future as well. Um, but so far I have organized some stuff. As you can see here are my resources, my valuables. And I have a place for gunpowder and eventually paper, ores, redstone stuff. I haven't filled out everything yet. But the basic idea is to fill out all these chests with some type of block or item. Just like here. And basically the items will run through a bunch of harbors. And well, go into the chests where there's space. And then I have preserved these six chests over here for everything to just go to. If it does not belong in any of these chests over here, you can see how I have organized the planks, the stairs, pretty much everything. So that is pretty cool right there. Again, I will be adding more work to it, especially a item. Um, what's it called? An item sorter. So I basically. There will basically just be a chest somewhere where I dump everything in and it will basically just run through the system, through all the chests and then eventually down here if it doesn't fit in any of this over here. So that is pretty cool in my opinion. But in today's episode, actually, there's another thing I forgot to show you on top. But while we're heading up there, be sure to follow my Discord server or join my Discord server, sorry, link down below as I do sometimes post images of projects that I'm working for, sorry, working on. And up here, you can see that I have actually um, cleared out a very large area here. There was a bunch of dirt here, filled out my chest, and I had to designate a new chest for dirt. Um, so that is fixed. But all of this has been flattened out. I just need a little area over there because I did make a diamond shovel efficiency four on breaking one. It is almost broken. Also, it, it, I made a diamond axe as well on breaking three and efficiency four because I was needing wood. Um, I did also go out and explore and I found tons of villages and tons of desert temples. And there's a village very close by which we're going to be making something with. If you can see, there are some weird dirt pillars with torches on them, and that marks out some places for some buildings that I will be making in the near future as well. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I guess I'll show you the loot that I got from both both the blacksmiths and the um, desert temples real quick. I have it down here in the chest. It's nothing too great, but it's nothing bad either. Actually, I think I might have moved it. Yeah, I'm, I might have moved it. But I also found some buried treasure and stuff. So I went ahead and got that. I think, yeah, I got another Heart of the Sea, which is pretty cool. Um, also, if you didn't see it, I started a netherworld farm. Because this is going to hint to what we're going to be making today. Because we are going to make my potions ingredients shop. Also, actually, one last thing. That's not it. Oh, yeah, I found a punch to bow. Uh, sorry, book. But here, I got an enchanted mending book. Now, I got this from Spice Mines 
Um, he gave it to me as a gift, and in the end, he got a Infinity Enchanted Book that I got from one of the Desert Temples. So basically, it became a trade. I got a Mending Book, and he got a Infinity Book. So thank you very much, Spice Mice. I will be saving this Mending Book for when I get an Elytra, because getting a uh, Elytra and then it breaking is a real pain. So <laughs> I'm gonna save it for that, hopefully. Also, I took 10 of my blaze rods and gave it to Spice Mines because we are secretly doing something. We are preparing for something. Um, I'm not going to say any more than that, but we are. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it. I also went to a jungle and got some jungle leaves because that is what we're going to be using for this build. Also, I will be needing a bunch of jungle wood, so I'm going to take all of it. Um, and yeah, let's head to the spawn area. And while we are here, actually, if you didn't know, um, Gaming Destroyer's Bano books over there have been for um, for auction for quite a bit. What? Oh, welcome to December, I guess. <laughs> um, so, and what you can then do is here we have some book and quills and we can individually place bits for the shop over there. And I have actually placed a bit on it. I put some, I think it was 9 iron blocks, 6 gold blocks, and I think it was 25 diamonds, I think, because there's some really good stuff in there. There are a lot of books, um, I remember, so that is pretty cool. So we'll see what happens, of course, Cameron has made them private. Um, there's more info in the book and quill there, but I'll leave that for you. Sorry, you can't actually do anything, but trust me. <laughs> The rules are in there. Um, Spice Mines and I actually did some work here. We flattened out the spawn area to make it a little bit better for having shafts. And I think we're going to extend this all the way to the wall, possibly. Um, so that's going to look really cool as well. And these two areas over here behind the barn shed over there is actually my two areas here. I have, I have actually three shop areas in total and I have some... Um, projects to do with these two, probably that very soon, this one a later date, but I definitely took the spot anyways because I really needed it um, and really wanted it. And this is the other places. This is the area that we're going to be working on today. This is going to be the potion ingredients shop. And the thing I have in my head is like a, like an area with these jungle logs as pillars and then jungle leaves as roof so it's kind of like a booth type thing and with uh, then with potion ingredients and i think that could look pretty cool so we're gonna start building on this thing um i'm gonna remove this sign right away i'm gonna put that away and i think at least i need these three up like this and I do believe it is a five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight area. So that that should be plenty, as I only need like chests. And with one by thirteen, they are very easy to place right next to each other. All right. So how am I gonna build this? I'm gonna get rid of this stone wall first of all. Um, I'm gonna place it. Uh, where should I place it? Uh, eh. Eh. Right here. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm also going to get a few torches up here because it is getting dark. I should probably head home and sleep, but who wants to sleep? All right, so definitely want an entrance here. So I guess actually we can place some leaves here to kind of make an entrance. I guess I should get some fence gates. I should probably get that. But for right now, I'm just thinking of how... I can possibly do this the best way. Um, so I'm not a great builder, so bear with me while I'm doing this. I'm going to start off with doing so. Okay. All right. I like it so far, even though we have only gotten this far. Okay. How about that? Yes, it definitely needs an overhang. Um, hmm. I'll make a little scaffolding here. How about we place that? 
and do this and probably go out. You know what? I might actually not have enough leaves for this. Hmm. Okay, but I like this. I like how this is going, actually. Maybe if we even add it like here, maybe. This is going to be a really simple build. I'm not going to make it anything fancy. Yeah, I think I like this. And then maybe one up. Let's try this. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't noticed, this bond has gotten like a, well, makeover, as you can see with the snow and everything. And also the paths, I believe they were done, yes, they were made by Spice Mines as well. So that is really cool. I really love the way the spruce leaves and the moss cobblestone and the pots all um, mixed in with the path and stuff looks. So great job, Spice Mines. I might also need some stuff from his shop to stock up this shop with something, but we'll get to that in the episode. Uh, hmm. Okay, so add this. There's no one else on the server right now, so I'm all alone. Uh, let's add that. All right. I might. I think I have enough leaves. I should have enough leaves. There we go. And then one more. Just like that. Yeah, how does that look? Yes, I think it looks good. And then just connect them up there. I think that would look perfect. And I believe Bob's won't be spawning on these because it's leaves. So that is very nice as well. Spawn proof. Okay, I think this is actually going to look really, really cool. So add some bushes here, add some bushes here and here. And I feel like we need something here. Like we need something to like support it. Hmm. How can we possibly add support? How does this look? Hmm. Not bad, actually. Not bad at all. Let's just get up here and get rid of this one. And get this one too and do that. Yeah, not bad. So it's like we have made like a skeleton for the house. And then we have basically just put all the leaves on top of it. I like this idea. I like the idea of this. Place you. Okay, how does that look? Not bad. I like this. And maybe some leaves there. Yes, yes, yes. And then maybe some leaves here as well, like going behind. Um, I'm not sure about that, though. I'm not sure about that. Makes it feel a little too not open. Just going to remove that for now. And I really gotta watch out for creepers here. <laughs> um, how about this instead? Oh yes, that's much, much better. All right, I think this is actually looking really, really cool. And then maybe with some torches up here and up there, that would look really cool. But I need to get back home to get some torches and then we need to stock this area up with chests. Again, just something simple. Chest, 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 chest and then stack those on top of each other, probably. Um, I would imagine some jungle fence going past like this wouldn't look too bad. Yeah, let me just get home. Let me gather my cobblestone. And let me go home, get myself some, yeah, some chests, the fence gates, and some coal, and... There we go. What was that? Sounded like an item frame broke, but it didn't. Okay. Um, fence. Okay, we do not have, we have one oak fence gate. You know what? Let's keep it jungle themed. All right. I brought everything over here to the shopping area, to the shop, because I need to make sure that I don't use too much material. So I think I might add an extra layer of leaves on top here and there. So, but we'll take a look at that after. Okay, so how will this look? 
That looks good, I think. That looks good. Okay, so I need one more of that to the other side and then how many blocks are this one two three four five six okay perfect just like that and this should do i hope yes actually if i do i think one more i should have enough for the other side as well so just add that and do that and that just like so. Yes, I think this is coming together. Okay. So this is looking good too far. I too too far <laughs> so far. Um, I want some of these jungle wood fence gates. There we go. Perfect. I guess we should change the floor as well to something else. It is a little bit crammed in here, but I think it'll be fine. Of course, if you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. Okay, so I have my chests here. Right, I forgot. Hold down shift, just like so. And I need one, two, three more. Okay. Bang. One, two, three. Is that going to be enough? It's going to be enough for now and then I can always build up. So I will also be needing some, you know what, let's add some crafting tables here for people to use if they wish to do so, just like that. All right, how does that look? Not bad, I like it so far. Okay, I think that annoys me. Let me just get up here. I think adding some leaves on top of that. Yeah, and then there. I think that could do the trick. So here as well. So let's do the same on this side. Like this. How does that look now? Yeah, you know what? I think that looks way better than before. Seems much more like a roof. All right, nice, perfect. So now I guess, I think that is the job pretty much done. Of course, I forgot to bring torches, so you know what? These two will have to do for now. Um, so now I guess it's just a matter of getting some signs and putting up some prices. Alrighty. Let's craft a few signs here. There we go. That should be enough. Hopefully. If not, we got plenty more wood. Okay. So, you know what? Let me just get back. Um, I wanted to see in Spice Mine's shop because I know he's selling... Um, I'm a little concerned. What gives the light in here at night? I don't know. Um... I was thinking sugarcane, one diamond per 32. Yes, I think I'm going to buy some of this. I don't think I have any um, yet. Let me just take a look here. Let me just get rid of the leaves for now. We're done with that. Let me just get rid of the wood. Boom, boom. And okay. Okay, so I have 32 here. So basically, I want to sell mainly nether ward to start off with. So I'm going to take a stack of this and I think I'm going to sell the items in stacks of 16 and one diamond for each of like 16 stack. So that I think could work. Now I do want some of the potion ingredients for myself, but currently how did I get magma cream? Currently, I can always get more of this, and I will have to get more of this since um, since I'm kind of running a shop. So that'll be a thing. What do we have in here? We have spider eyes. I don't really have much to be honest, but I think the key thing is nether ward. Um, let's just get 16 more of this, and you know what? 16 more. There we go. All right. Perfect. Let's just combine all these for now. 
Okay, so we got those. Then we have the puffer fish, and I wanted to have some sugar in there because people use that for um people use that for the speed potions also. Should probably get the redstone as well. Can sell some of that. And oh wait. Boom boom. And the glowstone as well. I have quite a bit of this actually. Um yeah, let's take that and since I don't have that much magma cream currently, I won't be able to charge much for the magma cream and the gas tears, but I'll have to sell them like one magma cream each. So like one magma cream for one gold, for example, something. Um, okay, so where is the getting sugar cane? One diamond per 32. All right. There you go. Sugar cane. Way easier than farming it. <laughs> okay, so. So far, so good. Alright, so that's the leather ward right here. I think I've got to get some more. I'm going to harvest my farm. Um, then the redstone here. Just like that, I suppose. I'll get some more redstone probably. And the glowstone. For now. There we go. Uh... That's not right. There we go. That's better. And like so. Okay, so we have one more, two, three, five more. All right, I think that is all the prizes done. I'm not too happy with most, not most of them, um, with some of them, like the Pufferfish 2 for 5 gold. I would like to sell, be able to sell more, but because I don't have more currently, I'm not able to sell like in quantities of 8, eight or 16, but that will hopefully come in the future but for right now it's better to get some gold than nothing so right now we have gunpowder 8 for 1 diamond nether ward 16 for 1 diamond redstone 16 for 1 diamond glowstone 16 for 1 diamond sugar 16 for 1 diamond gas tier 1 for 1 diamond just because they are pretty hard to get um because gas sometimes or usually fly up in the air and are hard to get and sometimes they even fly in lava as well um magma cream one for five gold just because i don't have many i can sell blaze rust two for five gold phantom membrane two for five gold and puffer fish two for five gold now we just need to um put a sign up here saying it's mine there we go that should do it i think that is a project complete let me just put these maybe here and then here no they're in the way <laughs> You know what? I'll place them. Uh, um, I'm not sure where. You know what? Here. Let them be part of the new path. Um, so yes, that is my potion ingredients shop. It is now open. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get more stuff in the future to sell. And yeah, we'll see how much I make of this. I will have to announce it to the other Royal Legion members. And saying that it's open. And we'll have to see what happens. But I think that'll be it for this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, and share it with your friends. And of course, if and of course, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and join my Discord server. Link down below, as I do sometimes post some um, votes on there, and also I post maybe some pictures here and there with some projects that I'm working on in the SMP. So yes, be sure to join for all of that good stuff. Yes, and also remember to check out everyone else's channels, link down below, and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.